Hello everyone and welcome back to another Adobe Quick Tip. For this week, we're gonna be taking a look at Premiere Rush. And with Premiere Rush, you can see here, I've already got some footage in it. And I wanna to talk today about audio. So the first few clips I have here are just stock and they don't have any audio. But then if I go to the part where I start talking, it has some audio in the background. And if I hit play and we take a listen to this, you can hear that it's not perfect. So let's listen. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Adobe Photoshop. If you listen closely, you can hear that there's a bit of a hiss in the background. Well, what I can do with this footage selected is I can come up here to this little audio option, and then I can go in and select reduce background noise. Now this will cut down the background noise and I can choose how much I wanna reduce that background noise. One thing to remember with this though, is this won't recover terrible audio. So if you have like a lot of wind noise or poor recording quality, it won't help it. Now, if we scrub this back and take another listen, let's see what it did. We're gonna take a look at Adobe Photoshop, what it does and why you should use it. So there you can hear that the audio sounds quite a bit better. Now let's add some background audio. I'm gonna scrub my playhead back and there's a couple of ways we can do this. I'm gonna hit this plus up here and the first way I'm gonna show you is I can go to your media and then I can just import a track that I've downloaded. I got this from the YouTube audio library. I can select that track and hit add. It will bring that track right in. So that's one option, but there is another option that a lot of people skip over. So if I close this out, select my audio, delete that audio track. Again, I'm gonna scrub my playhead back to the start, go to plus, and then go to audio. There is audio that is embedded right inside Premiere Rush. So if you ever need audio, you can come in here and get soundtracks, sound effects, and loops. And what I wanna show with this, it's pretty easy to miss. If I go to more, and then I type in what I'm looking for, so let's say electronic, cause I like electronic music, and then hit return. It gives me a whole bunch of different things and I can preview those. So if I hit play, it sounds like this. All right, I like that. So I'm gonna come down here to add, to add that track to my piece. And so now just to test that when I hit play. All right, I like how that sounds and how that looks. And then I would go through and start editing this. All right, I've thrown some quick edits together right there. So let's see what happens when I play this and it transitions into me talking. My audio is totally lost. I can't hear anything I'm saying and it's a really big problem, but there's a very simple fix with this. So if I select that same audio track and then go back up here to audio, it's still selected, but if I select auto duck, this will automatically reduce the audio when I'm talking and you can see how the clip reduces here. So now if I scrub my playhead back again and push play, In this video, we're gonna take a look at Adobe Photoshop, what it does, and why you should use it in the classroom. And if you want it to go even quieter, you can reduce that by a larger number, and it will drop that audio down even further. All right, let's say I want something different. Let's say I want to have a still image with a voiceover. I can go back to Plus, back to my media. I can grab a photo. I'm gonna use this photo of a student with a camera, and I'm just gonna drag that in right after my footage of me talking. And then I'm gonna add a voiceover to this image. So what I will do is go back to my plus one more time and then select voiceover. Now I wanna show you a little error that can really catch you out with this. If I click on this, you can see it adds a little red record button, but that's on my audio track here and that's not where I wanna record my voiceover. To do a recording for a voiceover on another track, you can just click on that other track and that way it doesn't overwrite your audio. So now when I press this little red button, it will give me a countdown and I can do my voiceover. And why you should use it in the classroom. Here we can see a student using a camera. And then once that processes, you can see the audio ducks down again. If I scrub my playhead back, push play. Why you should use it in the classroom. Here we can see a student using a camera. And with that, that audio is louder than the audio of me speaking, so I can do one of two things. I can click on this audio track, go back to that audio option. I can turn that clip volume down, 
Or I can also go back to the other clip and turn my clip volume up. Now that I've turned one down and one up a little bit, let's see how they sound together. And why you should use it in the classroom. Here we can see a student using a camera. So not perfect, but good enough for sake of demo. And hopefully that helps you a little bit as you create content in Premiere Rush and add audio to your lovely video pieces. See you next week for another quick tip.